First, give me light. My landlord might be here. <laughs> Put light. You hear somebody laughing. <laughs> it's very funny. Until when you see, you're like, hey, landlord, how are you? <laughs> give me light in the audience. Good evening. How are you guys doing? Good to see you. I went to buy condoms today, and I'm here to give you a piece of advice. If you're ever going to buy condoms, sir, please buy from a pharmacy. Don't go to a supermarket. There's a way in a pharmacy there's peace. Madam, there's peace. You see, when you go to a pharmacy, you can buy it. You're, you enter and come out in 10 seconds. You walk in. First of all, these are medical personnel, my brother. If anything, they are happy that you are taking care of yourself. The moment you walk in, they welcome you. They're like, yes, sir, how can we help you? And you are direct. Uh, you... <laughs> Have you noticed? <laughs> With condoms, there's where our voice goes down. Eh? <laughs> when you're buying other drugs, you're very, you have omeprazo. Hey, bring two strips. Two, I have ulcers. Hey, panado, extra, extra. Hey, bring two strips. Then you have metronidas. Hey, you also bring two. Yes. Then uh, uh, the one of. They're like, yes, sir. Uh, the other one. <laughs> they're like, sir. You don't know this one here. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, sir, which one? <laughs> As you're trying to explain, somebody walks in, another client walks in. By the do you know when another client walks in, you give them away? You're like, you gave me. They're like, sir, excuse me. Somebody else comes, they're like, hey, Sebo, you can. <laughs> then the new client is very modest. His understanding is like, no, sir, I found you here. Please, no, no, Phil. I have time. <laughs> Yet before, you were busy telling them, hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> now you're telling, please, please. It's like, no, sir, I'm, going to, I'm buying wholesale. I'm buying a lot of drugs. Bye, we are here. We are here. <laughs> uh, uh, the person finishes buying and they leave you there. That is when the pharmacist realizes what you want. She looks back at you. She's like, uh, so you want condoms? Yes, reduce the volume. <laughs> You're like, sir, how many packs? Just, just, just one, two. They're like, two? Just bring. <laughs> <laughs> the number is not important. <laughs> she goes and picks the packs. Put them, you know, they put them in those paper bags in pharmacies. Put them in the paper bag. They look at you and they gorge your energy. Puts inside, like my brother here, four times four. <laughs> four times. Yes, my boss here, one times one. <laughs> and you're out of the pharmacy. Done. A supermarket. Jesus, the stress at a supermarket. First of all, you are the one to look for the condom. Do you know how much stress that is? You walk in, <laughs> you start getting lost in other items. You are there looking at pampas. Well, these are scholastic materials, books. You start reading prizes of useless things. You pick milk. 12,000. Eh, since when? <laughs> are these cows educated? <laughs> Move around. <laughs> Besens, what? <laughs> You're looking for condoms. <laughs> I don't know. By the way, in which meeting did we have as a country? where we all agreed unanimously that condoms in every supermarket at the entrance. Which meeting was that? I did not attend that meeting. Every supermarket in Uganda, whether it is in Gulu, Kampala, Luero, wherever, condoms at the entrance. Now you who is new to this thing, <laughs> you are there lost <laughs> in saucepans, pampers, soap. You're busy picking items just to pass time. You pick soap, you're like, but the blue one and the white one, but what is the difference? <laughs> And these supermarket attendants, do you know they can tell? <laughs> they start suspecting you. Who walks around the supermarket for 20 minutes and they have not yet picked anything? They start suspecting either you're a thief or you're lost. Now you're there, lost. You're like, hey, where, where, uh, it was. You just hear somebody calling you from behind. You're like, uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, what? what? <laughs> um, no, sorry, I couldn't help but notice. I think you're lost. Uh, do, are you looking, looking for something? Uh, yes, you have. <laughs> With other items, we are very open. Where's sugar? <laughs> uh, sugar, so you just go straight and turn right. Up. Put it where we can see. My children are waiting in the car. You're wasting my time. Where's the uh, tea leaves? Like, tea leaves is this side. Put them together. Eh? When I have it, I have, I'm going to buy sugar. Two should be ne? very useless. Then you go and pick your sugar. Condoms, nobody wants help. <laughs> they come and ask you, sir, uh, are you lost? Eh? I would like to help you. Are you looking for anything? Looking for, uh, yes, uh, we could really help you. Ah, uh, ah, uh, it is around here. It is, uh, 
You start talking as if you're the one who arranged the supermarket. We put it this side. We put it. <laughs> you spend another 10 minutes. <laughs> Until when you almost give up, then you realize they're at the entrance. This, this is the thing that annoys me. They put them next to responsible items, madam. They put condoms next to newspapers. <laughs> Daily monitor. Fire burns a school in Luero. People who are serious with their lives are picking the newspaper to understand what is the fire department and police doing about these fires in this country. There's a newspaper there, a NAM conference happening in Kampala. The list of presidents to attend. People who are following serious things want to understand who are these people coming to the country. There's a magazine there. Simanya, bride and groom. People are getting married. They are trying to move on with their lives. There's a magazine there, Business Today. Somebody wants to expand his business. You, you bring your head to pick a condo. <laughs> In that mixture. <laughs> it's very painful. It's very Because now you have to distract people before you pick. Because everybody is picking. You pick for me. Then before you come, you, can't, you have to distract people. As people are picking, you're like, is that Bobby Wine? When they turn, you pick four packets. <laughs> it's the only way you can pick them. Uh, uh, now you come to the counter as if that is not enough headache. You people, <laughs> why is it the day you buy condoms, people are many? <laughs> why? The day you buy sugar, you are the only one in the supermarket. The day you buy condoms, there's a long line. You are the one holding the line. You put your items on the table. <laughs> Every item, condoms are very stubborn. Every item moves very well. You bring a kilo of sugar. It makes noise, enters in the computer. You bring tea leaves, it computes. You bring books, it computes. You bring condoms. Then she looks at you as if it is your fault. You're like, Madam, now you try again. She passes, Madam, try again. As you're there, people behind us, Wait, Sebo, what's the problem? You're like, No, just technical problems. <laughs> Uh, what pisses me off is when she involves the whole supermarket in your issue. <laughs> so like, madam, try again. She turns it the other way around. <sighs> Her sight is not. Madam, you try again. Before you know it, she screams, Margaret! You're like, madam, condom you're not taking it. How? <laughs> How is it Margaret's problem? <laughs> now you have to start denying your items. <laughs> like, ah, it's not, I swear, it's not my. I was just... Oh, man. It's interesting, guys. Last week, last week I attended a wedding, my brother. And are you married? 